this place. Um, then I would also like to thank Liz, who is here. She's over here in the back. She has been wonderful with helping me out with any questions. Um, she actually used to own a gallery herself, right? I, if I'm remembering correctly. Worked one, I didn't know. Worked one. <laughs> But um, her and Kara have really put this whole place together, the factory and fairgrounds and everything, and they, they uh, if you get a chance, say hi, and just give them a little thanks. Um, if you guys are just arriving uh, and you haven't walked around yet, uh, we have a few buildings open in the factory right now. So we have building two, which is this first one with our private artist studios. So you can go and meet some of the artists who are normally here. Um, in this building, this is building three. Uh, this is where the factory gallery is. You guys can find a seat if there's any. <laughs> um, and then we actually have out back, we have our beautiful word garden, which later on they'll be doing um, poetry with Keep St. Pete Lit, if you want to stay for that. Uh, we also have a food truck here today, if you want some of that. A bunch of bars set up. Um, building four is our newest building to open up. It's the one right next door. We have more artist studios opening up there. If you guys are artists and are looking for a place to call home, give them a little check out. Uh, our wonderful Raheem has been manning the desk. He's one with the amazing dreads right up front here. He's been manning the desk in there. If you have any questions, you can give him a chat. Um, and then the last building that we have open for for the factory right now is uh, building five. We have some live painters and another bar going in there. That's also where Daddy Cool and Sh uh, Sunshine State Goods are now open. So if you wanna check out those two uh, businesses, they're really great. Um, and then of course we have Fairgrounds in building six. Uh, if you haven't heard of Fairgrounds, it's a really amazing interactive experience that I highly recommend everyone give it a shot. Thank you, Austin. This is Austin. He's really amazing with anything that has to do with music, sound, DJ. <laughs> um, okay, so my name is Ashley Rivers. I am a mixed media sculpture artist. That's kind of how I've declared myself. Um, I also am a curator. I go through the name River Gallery for any of the exhibitions that I've been curating. Um, the Factory Gallery is not my first uh, in-person exhibition curating, but it is the first one that I curated under the name River Gallery. So it was a really great opportunity for the Factory to let me do this for them. Um, I think I would like to just get started. I will be answering questions that the artists will be answering as well because I do have art that I placed in the exhibition as well, but I'm gonna go last because I feel like that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna go down the line and what I'll do is I'll stand over by Austin and pass the mic to him after I ask the question and then they can just pass it on down to Bailey. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. All right. So, the first question is a nice and easy one. We just want to get to know the artists. So, who are you? What mediums or discipline do you work in primarily? And then tell us just a little bit about yourself, like a little blurb, something quick. Hello, everyone. My name's Austin Ponsano. That's my art, those three pieces over there. Um, primary. Lately, I'm doing acrylic paint uh, on canvas with some oil paint pen. Um, and, but before, I, was, I, I started with uh, water-based ink um, and did alcohol-based ink. Um, so, but I'm trying to delve more into this uh, lately. Um, I'm from Florida, and uh, I just started making more permanent pieces two years ago. Uh, but I, I've kind of just been doodling all my life. Uh, my dad would have me make doodles at, like, at dinner time and, and stuff like that. So um, that's my thing. And I'll pass it on to you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ebony Charity. I go by Ebony Flow Art. Um, that's primarily uh, acrylic, hand mixed fluid acrylic. Um, that I do abstract uh, fluid art. My art can be found behind this wall, um, behind your right. 
Um, but a little bit about me, I am also in the corporate America space, so between eight and five I'm working, and then from nine to the middle of the night, or when I decide to go to bed, I'm painting. Um, but I love music, I love just the different types of things that you can do with art overall, so I think that's what kind of captivates me to doing fluid art specifically, and just the freedom of abstract art in that space. Thank you. Hi, my name is Fabstrack. Um, I pr pr primarily am an abstract painter um, using ab I mean, acrylics. My, paint, my painting is right behind you guys. Uh, it has the, the, the green ball. Um, art is everything for me. It's, it's what I think about when I wake up in the morning. Um, last thing I, I think about when I go to bed at night, uh, I, I eat it, I breathe it, and it's just a part of me. Um, it's been like that since I was a, a very small kid. And um, it's, it's therapy, and it, it, it just, it frees your soul which you, when you're creating. It's the best thing ever. I agree. Um, I'm Lucky Leroy. I wrote my uh, answers down. Um, I'm a factory artist. I have a studio in um, building two. And this is my art right here. Uh, the green piece, Fearless Decorating. Uh, I guess, what else? Um, I do uh, fabric uh, installations, fabric collage, um, quilts, drawing, painting. Uh, I'm an Aries. I love disco. Uh, I like uh, the chicken salmon from Burger King better than the one from Chick fil A. <laughs> oh. um, my name is Chris Sellers. Uh, my paintings are over there by the door. Um, my work is primarily oil painting, but I work with drawing, sculpture, video, um, all types of mediums. But uh, so. I've been focusing a lot on oil painting lately. I do weird expressionism. Um, kind of like this idea of um, pleasure and pain alongside each other within the image making process. Um, I'm currently a BFA student finishing up my last semester at USF. Uh, my thesis is actually on Friday, so if you guys want to come out to it, it's at the Carolyn Wilson Center at USF. And um, this is kind of like the beginning of what I'm hoping to succeed in with my artwork. California. Uh, I've lived in Florida most of my life though, but wouldn't you rather say you're, you're from California if you are? Um, I'm mainly a figurative artist, lots of portraits and people and hands, and I'm really interested in how light and color tell a story of someone's face and just how, how much we can say without saying anything at all and how magical everyday life can be and, and just a passing glance or a, a look, a pose, a, any any of that, it all just is so magical. And I can't help but paint and create art. I mean, it doesn't feel like a choice. It just feels like a compulsion, you know? You must, you must make. So uh, thank you, Ashley. 
for getting us all together, and I'll let you answer your question. <laughs> Thank you, Bailey. Um, my name is Ashley again. Hi. Uh, my work I put on the back side of this white wall. Um, Bailey's work is on the right side of this wall. <laughs> um, for my work, I've recently done a big switch and have been doing a lot of figurative, uh, female themed based works. Um, I have mainly worked with pottery, clay as my medium, but recently I've been working a lot with metals and resins and collage um, of all different types. Paint, not paint, papers, all of that. Um, about myself, Margarita and I just got Creative Pinellas' Emerging Artist Grants, so her and I have been working at that. Um, and I've, for me personally, I've just been working on my work. Like, that's that. Okay, next question. We're gonna go back to Austin now. What work do you have shown in the gallery and what do you like about the work? What was your inspiration behind the work? How'd you do it? All right. Um, so like I mentioned that, those three pieces are the pieces I chose for the show. Um, I really love these pieces because of their color. Um, and the way that they kind of, hopefully, I, the lines lead you um, around the campus without leading you away from the campus. Um, and also the balance. I, I really just wanted to make pieces that were calming, but sort of chaotic at the same time. Um, if I can make a piece that is very intricate and is uh, kind of pulls you in, but also gives you a sort of um, peaceful feeling. I think that's kind of a success. Um, but I also really like these pieces because they are abstract and people come to them and they bring their own lens and they see their own um, their own flow to it, their own focuses, their own shapes. And I love to hear that what people see in it and uh, and their feedback on how it makes them feel um, and what they particularly like about it. Uh, is it, is, did I cover all boundaries here? Yeah. Um, oh, I also like the fact that these
I'd rather hear their story because it comes from them and, you know, I, I made the thing. I did the hard part already, you know. Um, but with these particular works, um, the bottom four, so the cowboy, which is Rahim right here, um, he's my excellent model, and uh, the gun, the hand with the gun, and then the two, like, desert, I've been calling them my like, desert guardians because they're in, like, a scorpion and a snake. And um, last October, actually, I drove to California and back, and, you know, I'd never done something like that, and especially as a woman going alone, like, that is pretty intense, and, you know, there are definitely times where, like, you know, my car broke down, something like that, um, but I was really inspired by being out west and being in the high desert, and just feel so otherworldly out there, so kind of trying to meet in the middle, like, these you know, figures and these faces with this really incredible setting um, was really what I wanted to do. And I, I like, you know, incorporating some level of surreality or some like level of potential energy as in like you're witnessing something that's about to happen. So like in the instance of the portrait of Rahim, like he's, you know, he's giving you this look like, you know, should, should I come closer? Is this trouble or what? You know, like you, you're kind of unsure. And even the, the gun is like coming out of this curtain, which is actually a sunset. So it's like, is it, are you the setting sun? Like, are, is this your final sunset, you know, metaphorically? So I've been really playing with that and, you know, watching a bunch of David Lynch. So I mean, you know, curtains and, you know, bizarre, what have you has been around me. And I try to, keep lots of uh, natural elements in my work. So, you know, the scorpion, the snake, um, you know, moons, bees, stars, flames, all those kinds of things that keep us connected to our, you know, our inner, like, natural magic, I think is really important. And it's something that I uh, want people to bear witness to and embrace in themselves. Something in between the piece and the person that I, I think is the ultimate art. Um, and that, then the artist is the person that just is like, hey, I saw something artful, maybe it was inside me, or maybe it was something I saw outside of me, and I'm going to put it in physical form, and other people can see it, and, and it can create more art as time goes on, and people look at it. So, um, I always think about the best way to, to show people, or to kind of create that art in people, um, and uh, my, my choice is the, the painting. I think there's a lot of other awesome ways to do it too. But um, yeah, if, if you want to make art and you, you can see artful things, I definitely recommend to try to express it because it, it just adds such, um, it, it adds like a purpose, you know? Um, and that, that's what I believe art means to me. create something, whether it's a piece of artwork on a canvas, or if it's music, or if it's just kind of coming up with different words and putting them together to where it sounds like a love letter with, and with someone else reading it. You know, I think there's so many different ways of expressing art, and I think all in all, it's a total expression of, of yourself, whereas I, I know that I have made pieces to where I've just thrown paint everywhere and they never seem like a day or I paint on them all over again and it's just kind of my release to get, you know, any type of frustration out, any feelings I have but at the same time, the the fact of, you know, having it on display to where it becomes more of a community thing where you've created something that you, you had all this energy you put into it and now you're seeing other people react to that. I think that, that whole, it's not the actual artwork that you're looking at, it's just the action of, hey, I created this and now they're reacting to this a certain way. I think that all in itself is the actual arts where it's, whether it's just a canvas um, or like I said, music. I think music is so important to me. I think that's why with fluid art and just being able to flow and use a rhythm of just having paint kind of splattered all over the canvas. It, it's, such, it's such a huge expression. So I think all in all, that's what really art means to me. Art to me is, it, 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 
it's a uh, it's a interpret inter no, oh interpretation interpret inter <laughs> interpretation of of your feelings. Um, it could have been it could be a feeling that comes out as music. It could be it could be something that comes out as a dance. Art can be so magical in all different forms, but it, it, it comes down to the feeling that the, the, the art the artist came up with and the feeling that the person looking at your art receives. Um, there's been times where I've, I've painting paintings and what I think it feels to me comes off as a totally different feeling from someone else. Um, and, and your feelings hold so much importance that makes it makes the, the artwork that much more uh, I can't get the words. Um, it well, the type of artist I am, I use my my, my emotions, my feelings, and those are what, what I use to, to, to create. And those 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 feelings and emotions come out in the paintings, and people pick pick, pick up on that. And um, it, <laughs> it's a um yeah it's, it is hard to explain um, because it, it, it's, a, it's a very emotional process and, and it is it is for that for me thanks uh, I think like the best way for me to like describe my viewpoint on this is uh Okay, and um, I have an, another show going on right now at Mai's Gallery, and in that show I have uh, a, one of my shoe prints. And the way I describe the art in that is that the, the action of making the, I call them plain air, they're plain air printmaking. <laughs> so I take print, printmaking into the landscape, right? So, uh, like I'm printing uh, usually a person or a maybe an abstract form that uh, that relates to the landscape. So I'm connecting myself to the landscape and creating this print. And what I think the art is in that process is like the video more than the uh, than the actual thing that I create because like I'm trying to capture like my joy and my uh, you know feeling about while I'm, I'm creating this thing so um, so the video is more the art than the than the artifact like I think that the thing I hang on the wall is the artifact and um, uh, and in this piece I think I would describe it as, okay, this would be the artifact of all of my struggle with like what's happening in the climate change crisis. So, so like, you know, every day when I'm reading the news and like feeling the panic and like, you know, uh, just worrying or trying to focus positive energy on the situation, uh, this is what comes out of it. So I want to, you know, so.
taking all of these different images of things that contributed to those feelings and that lifestyle. And so it's like collage painting, but massive, and then just like writing across it. And basically this very intense, vulnerable sense of expression. Um, I'd either do it like giant on one large sheet of canvas, or I'd do it in sections so where like you have kind of like a piece to this large piece. Um, I don't know, it's something that I, I'm really excited about, hopefully I can do it for the next two years, but I think it's something that'd be really compelling, and also, again, back to the, what is art to you, like this would be kind of like a release from everything that I've ever experienced, so I'm really excited about it. So for myself, I want to promise myself that I will never stop making art, because in the past, of course, I questioned myself, like probably everybody else did, and you know, maybe I should not do this because it's not going to take me anywhere, but I want to promise myself that I will keep doing art no matter what, and um, of course I want to have more experiences that allow me to create, to travel, to meet new people, because that's my source of inspiration, you know, all the experiences that I have, then, you know, I can translate them into art, and uh, my goal would be also to have an exhibition in Milan, which is my hometown in Italy, and that would be really nice to, you know, be able to show my work back in my country. Um, Long-term goals. Um, well, I am very lucky to have accomplished a, a goal recently of building a large-scale sculpture. Um, it was for Halloween, and we built an eight-foot-tall mirror sculpture. Um, which was so cool. Um, just being a painter, you know, there's there's only so much interaction you get with the painting, you know. Um, but to make a sculpture that you could literally see yourself in, and watching all these people just go up to it, take pictures of it, that was so beyond. I was, you know, the whole time just like hovering around the sculpture, like hardly saw the music at all. It was terrible. <laughs> um, but as far as like a, a long term, like total goal, um, I worked at a local gallery here, Softwater Studios, um, for three years um, as a curator there and an art assistant. And I, working there, made me realize how much I want to have my own space and you know, not only to work from, but to, you know, host workshops, exhibit artists from around the world, exhibit with, you know, tell stories, because really that's what curating is, it's telling a story with other people's work. And, you know, I've been very fortunate to work with some really incredible artists, um, like someone who comes to mind is uh, Ula Bobst, who's this German surrealist. Um, and she's placed in the Biennale and things like that. And, and I'm so grateful for that experience. And I, I just want to be able to continue to do that and, and to give other people the ability to do that because there's, there's no sense in gatekeeping in our community. Everybody has something to offer on the table. Everybody has, you know, something that they are excellent at. Everyone knows something that you don't know. And I think it's very powerful to be able to extend a hand and provide a space for people to, you know, meet themselves and meet other people. I think that's really incredible. Um, other goals, I guess, just continue to experiment because, um, as I said before, I get in my own way a lot. And I, you know, have been this year really really getting better at it. I, I did some printmaking for the first time this summer. I've never done the linoleum print in my life. I had no idea what that process was like, and it was really incredible, and I definitely want to do another one. Um, building the sculpture, you know, I, I try to stay, I made an album last year, like, you know, just staying, staying, you know, fresh. I like a challenge, I like something new, something catches my attention, and I'm excited about it and it's with the right people and the right time, like, you know, just go for it and try. I mean, no goal is too big, you know, no dream is too big. I mean, we're all on the stage right now, right? I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, that's, you know, I mean, we accomplished something being up here, right? I think mean, that's that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, just, just continuing, and I love what you just said about to promise yourself never stop making art, because that is, you know, really, the promises we make to ourselves are the ones who probably break the, the fastest. And, you know, to hold to that, like, is 
you know, I'm, gonna, I'm remembering that now, so. Um, a goal of mine that I gave myself pretty recently is to not hold myself back. Um, because, like you mentioned, I feel like as an artist, you are the one that can hold yourself back the most. And I mean, a lot of my friends have said like, that they feel like I'm doing a lot, but also I feel like I'm sitting on the couch a lot. And um, it, it's like, you guys, I don't know, like no one sees your whole life, right? So it's a lot of work, but I wanna, for a goal for myself is to just not stop making. And um, one goal that is kind of already in fruition, but it's still a goal because I still wanna keep doing it is, is like this. I want to keep creating a space where other artists can, not, not just myself, like other artists can show and meet and, and just have a space where they can bring their family, they can bring their friends, they can show their art to the world. And one thing that I really loved about this was that I have, I mean, I've been meeting so many well-known, quote, well-known artists, and then so many artists that I would consider emerging um, within the community alone. Um, and this, having a space like this, like I was able to bring all of those people together. And like, I don't know, you guys may not have even been able to meet each other without something like this happening, and I just loved that. And I've been a part of so many exhibitions myself and I just wanted to do that. And so that's one goal that I wanna keep doing. Um, project wise, I would like to keep that a secret because uh, <laughs> I have a few shows coming up myself and I just don't wanna spill the beans. Um, yeah, all right, next question and last question is um, it's kind of similar to what we just said, so if you don't really have much to say, that's okay. We can wrap it up. But if you have any shows coming up, tell us about that, and then any last words. Austin, you'll go first. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of events coming up. Um, there, at Coastal Creative, there's a show uh, in December, I believe. Uh, it's curated by Stephanie Aguidello. And it, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a Coastal Creative show, um, one that she hosts, but they, they just keep getting bigger and bigger, and they're quite a bash. And if you, any artists out there, they tend to be pretty accepting. I mean, they choose, but they, uh, she has a, a good eye for um, what will fit into the show. I would definitely recommend to input or get in contact with her. Uh, the, the theme of the show, there's always a theme, um, is galaxy, space, zodiac uh, type related material. Um, and it's just a really awesome uh, experience. You, you just get to meet a lot of um, people and, and see a bunch of new art, because um, people tend to make new art for a theme show. Um, and then uh, there's another show going to be hosted by the River Gallery, which I think it's also open call for artists at uh, Magnanimous Brewing, um, which is coming up soon. And the, the theme is thought, uh, art that provokes emotion specifically, or thoughts, or thoughts about emotion, and vice versa. Um, so those are two things that I'm excited for and I'm looking forward to event-wise. Um, right now, just being a part of this opportunity, being kind of like my second large exhibition ever as an artist, um, I think I'm going to be focusing you know, on the next, kind of the next steps on creating. Um, I just want to kind of adapt my, my current style, you know, dive into a little bit of fewer different mediums here, but all in all, I think, you know, right now, uh, with being a part of opportunities like this, I also do intend on, you know, continuing to network so that way you can get into these types of shows. I think it's just so awesome, so awesome to be in a room where, like you said, there's so many uh, well-known artists, and for me, to, for this to be my second show ever, I just think that's like mind-boggling, so I'm excited to continue to create it, and I'll definitely be back. Currently, I don't have any 
new chef shows coming up, but um, I will be focusing on um, some more pieces. Uh, okay, on this graphic here that I'm wearing, that is a, a graphic for Anna Sweet, and this is on um, in her current fashion show of the 2022 uh, spring. 2022. So you can see that online um, uh, in St. Petersburg. I have the Mize Gallery show right now, and it's the neighborhood show. And my neighborhood's Kenneth City. So go out, you know, see the show at, at Mize. So other people here, Austin, Austin is in Crescent Lake. Um, so and then. I'm going to continue working on the factory wall. I'm probably going to do another one over there. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm going to work on my website. <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out how to, to how to put a picture with a price tag underneath it. That's what I'm working on. <laughs> Those web websites are tricky. Um, so I have two shows coming up. I have my thesis show at USF. Um, I have a new artwork on my first the abstract collage thing that I was talking about. Like guys, I, no one's seen it in person yet, so I'm having that there, along with four other artworks. That is November 19th at the Carolyn Wilson Gallery. And then I have my first solo exhibition. Um, I think it's the 22nd. It's like two weeks from now. Um, I'll have it on my Instagram, but um, first solo exhibition, all works up to now about medium specificity, kind of like around, it's about the same themes that I work with now, but it's a little more fluid variety, kind of like exploring this theme before like the current work I'm making. So I could really use the support if anyone wants to come out. I'll have it on my Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, the, the center gallery. Uh, for me, not really a show, but uh, as I should mention, we got the uh, great Daniela's uh, friend. So we will be working uh, with a mentor who is a mentor this year and we will be having a show of the spring day. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, I will hopefully be showing at the River Gallery <laughs> at Magnanimous Brewing. Um, but uh, right now, honestly, I had, I had three shows in September. So I'm, I'm just kind of recouping right now and, you know, doing all the unsexy art stuff, like making a business plan and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, but it's, it's necessary. It's important. You know, you got to do it. You got to know what you got, where you're going, you know, all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm starting a new round of, I, I'll, like, look online and, like, things to apply for. And then I'll just, you know, I'm like, okay, I have these dates set aside. I'm just submitting this. So I'm just starting that new round. <laughs> I'm just starting that new round of uh, looking for more shows right now, and uh, yeah, potentially the Cosmo show if I can finish something. <laughs> just, just working through it here, but yeah, doing do my best, trying to be. I'm I'm in too many things sometimes. I feel like I stretch myself in, as I'm sure you do the same. Like you just said about you know people think you're doing so much, and then you're like. Like I'm chilling, or just you know. So, oh, I'm actually I'm going to Art Basel, um, not not with my own work, unfortunately, but I'm working for an artist at Art Basel, so that's going to be really exciting, and we'll hopefully be able to show my own work there next year. So, mm -hmm. um, I have uh, an exhibition that I'm curating, not this one but uh, another one at Magnanimous that a few people have brought up, uh, so that's something I'm working on. Um, as for shows, I'm gonna be in a couple coming up. Um, Cosmos at Coastal Creative with Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie's work is actually these two beautiful, colorful portraits uh, behind you guys, um, but at Coastal Creative, I have a few things happening with uh, the Green Book of Tampa Bay um, at 22 South. Um, oh gosh, I'm blanking. I have 
uh, the Creative Pinellas, um, the Emerging Artist Award that we got. We're gonna be working, I got my mentor. We're gonna be working with um, mentors and just like really creating a body of work that I'm super excited about. Um, this is a lot of things, um, yeah. So to wrap things up, I wanted to open it up if you guys had any questions. Uh, we're a little bit over seven, not much. I thought we were gonna be way over him. We're, we got this. Uh, so <laughs> uh, does anyone have any questions? For anyone? Don't be shy. Yeah? We caught up here and talked, no, for sure. <laughs> it's okay if not. Um, if you guys want to hang around for a little bit and meet and talk to them, uh, it might be a good idea for you guys to hang out by your works, right? And then if you have any questions for them, you can go by their work. Um, so Austin, he's the first one here. His work's over here. Ebony's works is behind this first white wall. The abstract has three pieces. That one of them's on the black wall.